Hey guys, it's Cameron back with a haul video. This is from the stuff from the past week. A little late on getting it up, but hopefully you guys do enjoy it. Found some stuff that I should do all right on. We'll just jump right in. Um, from a garage sale, a bunch of video games here. Five of them, they're five dollars each. These are good ones to look out for, except for Star Fox, it's not that great. Uh, Skies of Arcadia is like a fifty dollar game. Zelda, probably thirty-five or forty. Star Fox is more like a 15. Mario Party 6, uh, which is the second one there from the left, that one is probably 30 or so. This is actually not Mario Party 4. It is Super Mario Sunshine. Good game either way. Either one of those good to look out for. Five bucks a piece, can't go wrong there. Two Polaroids, paid seven for the one in the box. Paid eight for that one. Uh, one in the box, probably 30, and the other one probably 30 or so too, so not too bad. And then below this was an offer up sale. 30 bucks for a Garmin Fish Finder. Brand new in the box. Last one I saw sold for $120 plus I think $10 shipping. So should do okay there. Always good to look on offer up and see what you guys can find. Especially stuff that's been sitting for a while. That thing he wanted like $60 on it. I offered him $25. He said I'll do $30 and it's a deal. So just because it's been up a long time and that may have a high price, you might be able to get a good deal on it. This is one of those Christmas trees. A lot of them are made by like the Atlantic Mold Company. This one's not. It does come with the base, it's just not shown. Paid five bucks, it was 10 if you can see. That's a little blurry, hopefully it'll focus. There it is. Uh, paid five though, half for that, so that was pretty good. These usually sell for 70 to 100 shipped. This one's got a couple of little spots where the snow is kind of peeling off, but I think we'll do okay. A New Testament um, on disc there, 36 discs, 5 bucks on offer up. These last one sold for 80, so hopefully we'll get 50 plus at least. Another offer up find here, TI-84 plus C E. It comes, this is one of the ones that has like the LED screen, I think. Pay 25 for this, it does work. It was a college kid, you didn't need it anymore. 25 bucks is a good deal. These are like a hundred and something brand new, so be on the lookout for these. Um, should sell pretty well with school coming here pretty soon. Cutco Spreader, 1768. Uh, these things always sell, Cutco always does well. The last one I sold, I got 25 bucks for, I think that was this model, so at least 20. Paid two dollars on that. PSP, this actually came with the GameCube stuff, it's five bucks. I don't know if it works, it's a 1001 edition. No uh, games and no charger, but no cracks of the screen, so we should be okay there. Lego set, sealed. Indiana Jones, 7626, this one is paid 15 at a state sale. Sealed, I think it goes for 70 plus. Um, shipped, so not too bad there. We'll show you this in a second. This big guy. Two pairs of cool pants. Not cool as in stylish cool, but as in the brand cool. They are pretty cool though because they sell pretty well. These were $6.50 at Goodwill a piece. So size 38, 34 will do okay. You may have got a glimpse over here of some video game stuff. This is a massive Super Nintendo haul. There is one Nintendo in there, original, but most of it was Super Nintendo. I've already sold some of the games from this. I had to pay 200 for this. Long story short, found it at a garage sale was going to go on. Had my wife go down there. She was on the phone telling me what games there were. The guy wanted 200 for everything. I didn't have her finish going through all the games. I just said, um, I'll take them all for 200 because there were a couple of really good titles already. Turns out it's probably about 500 to 550 worth in sales. So we'll make 150 or so, maybe almost 200 when it's all said and done. Best games in there were um, Castlevania 4, also there's Zelda, you know, games like Donkey Kong, Mario Kart, Mario All-Stars, uh, Double Dragon was in there, Super Double Dragon, um, there also was uh, Turtles in Time, which is a pretty good Turtles number four, Ninja Turtles number 4, and Zombies Ate My Neighbors, plus a bunch of other games. Most of these Super Nintendo ones that aren't sports. Like X-Men will get like 12, Batman will probably get 8 to 10. Some of them have a lot of fading as you can see, so that lowers the price. There's the zombie one right there, Zombies Ain't My Neighbor. So 200 had to pay up. Don't recommend this if you're not too familiar with games, because uh, it'll take a little while to get our money back. So far we're at like 100 and 
40 or 50 in sales back, so we're making most of it. But we still got some more, and there's a lot of games, as you can see, left in here. So pretty cool if you like video games. Um, but I'll show you. Obviously, it'll show up in July's haul or sales video. Then this thing, almost my name, just missing the E. But that's not why we bought it. We bought it because if I can get it opened up, it was only ten dollars, which and that's a Air King wire recorder. It is beat up. I do not think it works. It looks like it's just kind of been thrown all in here. But I happened to see one online that sold for over a hundred plus shipping. It was actually it was a hundred plus sixty five shipping. Theirs didn't work either. It was ten bucks. It looks really cool. I figured it was worth it. Um, not something I usually like to jump into. Same with the tree. I don't usually like picking up big bulky things that are pain in the butt to ship. But for some reason found both of these pretty cheap. So don't know a lot about it. If you are an expert or know anything about this kind of stuff, definitely let me know because as you can see I'm not uh, good and I don't usually sell electronic stuff. But it was $10. It looked really cool. I figured it was worth a shot. Um, if we lost, you know, I got a really good... Uh, box here I guess I can use for decoration or something but it was um, he said 10 bucks it has a cool little logo on the front there hopefully we can make some money off it even if I could get 70 or so plus shipping you know I could still make 30 bucks off that after fees and everything maybe 40 so that's okay if you're buying big stuff or stuff you don't know about as long as you're getting into it pretty cheap it's a little bit easier to make the purchase because you know there's less of a loss there hard to pay up you know, 100 bucks on something if you're not positive you know what you're doing or you're not an expert on that kind of stuff. So, like the video games that didn't mind paying, this I definitely have my questions. So, hopefully you guys enjoy. Uh, I'll try to get the sales update for June. I know most people prefer those and I know I need to get it done. I said I would do it last week, but I just didn't get to it. So, I'll try to get it done before the end of the weekend. Hope you guys have a great uh, time out there. Find some cool stuff. Please like, comment, and subscribe and take care.